So this example here, we have uh, sieve analysis results. We know percent passing number 10, 40, and 20, uh, 200 sieve. And we know the liquid limit and plastic index. So liquid limit PLL and plastic index PI. Okay. So that's all the information given. And then we're going to classify this soil using USCS system. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, so remember these step-by-step -step instruction. The first step is to determine the percent of different types of soils. So I'm going to start with percent of fine. This is the uh, easiest. Percent of fine is simply the percentage passing number 200 sieve for this example. So that's percent passing number 200 sieve. Okay. And then percent of course. So if 58% passes number 200 sieve, then what's retained above is simply 100 minus that. And this is 42%. Okay. So let's add a percentage sign. So that's percentage of uh, fine and coarse. And then percent of gravel. Okay. So percent of gravel, remember that's a percentage retained on number four sieve. And for this example, 100% passes number 10, which implies that 100% passes number four as well. So if you would put number four sieve, it will be put above number 10. So 100% of the soil passes number four. So this is 0%. So nothing retained above number four. Okay. So this means that all the coarse greens are sands. So percent of sand is percent of coarse minus percent of gravel, and 42%. Okay. So again, let me put a note here. So 100% passes number 10. So that's given. So that means 100% passes number 4. That means 0% retained on number four. So 0% gravel. Okay. And then we have LL and PI. So that's given. And for this example, we don't need CU and CC. So that two coefficients are not given. All right, so that's step number one. And uh, then let's, let's use that table 5.2 to determine uh, group symbol first. So table 5.2, as I mentioned, we enter from the left-hand side. So enter from the left, and the first uh, this split here, this is that two broad categories. For our soil, example one, percent of fine 58. So more than half of the soil is fine. So that means you use fine green soil. Okay. So percent of fine, in our case, 58%. Okay. And then the next are, this is liquid limit. So for this soil, liquid limit is 30. So it's less than 50%. Our soil liquid limit is 30. So that's why we pick this uh, liquid limit less than 50 route. As I mentioned, unless it's uh, explicitly given, we're going to assume all soils are inorganic in this course. We're going to go this pass. And the next is that PI. Okay. For this problem, PI is 10. And then we also need to check if it plots above a line. There's an end here. There's an end. So you need to meet both criteria if you want to pick a CL. Okay. So PI greater than seven, we meet that. And then let's plot this soil on the plasticity chart. So for this soil, LL is 30. Okay. And PI is 10. Okay. So that's our soil. That's where it plots on this plasticity chart. And this is clearly above A line. Okay. So this soil is above A line. 
So that means we meet both conditions. PI is greater than seven, and the soil plots above A line. And then the group symbol. CL. Okay, so that's a group symbol. Remember, that's just one part of the classification. A complete classification needs both symbol and name. So let's find out the group name. For group name, we're going to use that group name chart. And for this particular soil, uh, we're going to use this figure here. So this is a part of that figure 5.4. And we start from the group symbol. So we, found, uh, we have found that this group symbol is CL. And then for this soil, let's look at uh, the percentage of fine. Remember, so percentage of fine is 58%. Percent of course is uh, 42%. And if you look at these uh, two conditions here, as I mentioned, plus number 200, meaning it's retained above number 200. Okay, so that means the this is the coarse fraction. So this coarse fraction, we have 42%. This is basically retained above number 200. Okay. So that's that coarse portion. Remember that's particles larger than number 200C. And translates this into this figure is basically plus number 200. So we have 42% plus number 200. So it's going to be larger than 30%. So that's why we're going to pick this route. Okay. So greater than 30% plus number 200. We have 42%, of course it's greater than 30. So pick that. And sand is, if you recall our percent of sand is, 42%, percent of gravel is zero. Okay. So we have more sands than gravels. We pick this route. Remember 42 and zero in our case. Okay. And gravel zero percent, so it's smaller than 15%. And then we end up with group name. Okay. That's Sandy Lean Clay. Okay. So that's a complete classification. All right. So that's example number one. And I have prepared a few more examples. Uh, we're going to go over uh, next time.